Good morning dear friends and greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome all the listeners of our meditation from Life Spring Assembly Lucknow. And may the Lord's blessing be upon you through this day. And in order to enjoy his blessing, let us give a few minutes first to God to hear his voice. In the book of Romans, the letter that Paul wrote to Roman uh, church chapter 5 verse 10 we have these words for if when we were enemies we were reconciled to god through through the death of his son much more having been reconciled we shall be saved by his life now this passage reveals mainly three important truths three or four important truths concerning our christian life and today i would like to mention the first of it christian life is a twofold life many of us see only one facet jesus saves what do you understand by this phrase does it mean that save mean missing hell or making heaven this is only one facet of what being saved really means and let me explain the first point of this and the other two we, two or three we shall consider the the following days there are two facets of our salvation according to the gospel according to st john chapter 10 verse 10 it says the thief comes but to steal and to destroy and to kill but i have come that you may have life and that you may have it more abundantly and in the one we have life there are two facets our salvation to be seen here and in the one we have life and in the other we have life overflowing and these are the two things that jesus mentioned in this verse i have come that you may have life that is the first facet and then he says not only just life that you may have it more abundantly that is overflowing life but some have life and no more and this is a very pathetic condition in christian life if you just have a, just a life a saved life they are uncomfortable and carnal if you have only just that life you saved yes but no more but what we need to understand is according to the scripture we read in romans salvation has a several aspects life more life and a more abundant life and then there are more and which we shall consider in the days to come and some have life unfortunately no more and such people in a church will find themselves very uncomfortable and then others will find them very carnal they are the ones who create all the problems and divisions in the church they have life but do not enjoy the blessings they heaven bound but not heaven happy here and now for them that is reserved for life after they get into heaven and this is unfortunately the understanding that many carry the abundant life and overcoming life and overflowing life and all these kind of things we will receive once we are in heaven when jesus comes and takes us but my friends that is not true don't you believe that because that is a, a lie 
from the bottom of hell and the devil wants you to believe that but that is not the truth this heavenly life is for us to enjoy in abundance abundance here and now and this is the truth that all of you who are saved must understand yes you are saved but are you really enjoying the uh, the, the progressive life from one step into another and many people are saved but they are not happy they believe in heaven and they also think that they will go to heaven but unfortunately they are not heaven happy now in this world and that life is meant for us to enjoy here now and um, uh, jesus came for what not only that we might have life but the manner in which we have it many people have life some people have it more abundantly and that is something that many are missing they have life are you saved yes i am saved anything more than that no that is enough to go to heaven that is the feeling and understanding that many people carry no my friends through this teaching i want to encourage you that salvation is not just one step only no there are higher steps that you must continue to climb in this life and that is how you live a christian life for some time you are happy you begin to enjoy the happiness of it then you begin to enjoy the abundance of it then you will begin to enjoy the satisfaction of it you are exuberant and happy in life in this world and seeing that in you many people will wonder what is the difference i am not as happy as this brother this sister what's the difference the yeah, difference is here many people have a life only but some people have it more abundantly that is the difference and i my question this morning to all of you who are listening which do you have you have only a life you also have abundant life in which step are you are you still standing on that first step and uh, no further and i encourage you read the bible spend more time in prayer and worship and as you read the bible and meditate on it you will understand that you have the first step salvation is only the beginning you are a child but there is a growth that must happen it is in that growth growth that you begin to enjoy abundant life and satisfy life now where are you now i encourage you to go further and to begin to enjoy abundant life and so may the lord bless you this day is a great day the salvation that you have the new life in jesus christ you have is praise the lord for that but don't be satisfied with that god has more and greater life go for it in jesus name holy spirit we need your spirit to guide us into higher experience with you personally lord we want to experience that more life and more abundant life which we can experience and enjoy it here and now let it be the experience of many of our listeners thank you in jesus name amen